Thank you, Mark. Like the Finley Oilers, Ohio Northern football also undefeated on the young season. Polar Bears won their opener at Washington University in St. Louis and Dean Paul's group with a bye last week. Now tomorrow, ONU hits the road again to take on Baldwin Wallace. Matt Finkel has more on how the Polar Bears are preparing for their conference opener. Ohio Northern fell behind 17-0 in the first quarter of its season opener, but the Polar Bears rallied to score 31 straight points and secure a tough road victory. We started the game really slow and it really hurt us in the beginning, and then we came out on fire that second uh, quarter and really took it to them. And when you get down 17 nothing, it's a great uh, opportunity to see where, where, what your poise is like and what your leadership and your, of your team uh, will be. So I felt really good about the way we kept our poise and everybody kept believing in the plan and, and trusting that we had uh, the ability to kind of pull out of that tough start. Oh, we just had to keep a positive attitude throughout. Uh, I think we just got to keep fighting, and we definitely proved that we can do that. The skill positions led the way in the win. Running back Justin Magazine finished with a career-high 154 yards, and wideout Devin Price continually made big plays, finishing with 220 all-purpose yards. Meanwhile, senior quarterback Patrick Angle is looking more and more like a veteran leader. Well, you know, Pat, as an experienced quarterback, you know, now he's, he's into his, uh, uh, I guess, 12th game as a starter, and he looked like an experienced quarterback at moments in the game. A couple times he didn't, but overall he played real well, made good decisions with the football. The week two bye allows ONU to take some extra time and work out what did and did not work from week one. Practice has been going uh, real great. Uh, Energy's still been good. We've been uh, fighting through it and ready to play again. By week, what we tend to do is, is try to get healthy. You know, those, everybody always talks about week one and week two, you tend to have some of your best improvement and development. And, and what we talk to our, challenge our guys about that is that's only the case if you really work. You're not going to automatically get better just with more time. So we really spent most of the week working on ourselves. The Polar Bears have a tough upcoming schedule. They finally have their home opener on October 4th against Heidelberg, followed by a matchup with John Carroll. But first, it's the conference opener with Baldwin Wallace tomorrow. Work hard, come out on fire. Coaches helped us on that one, and uh, we really worked ourselves, so we got better. I think if we can get a better start, win the turnover battle, uh, I think we have a good chance to be successful. It's always a tough place to play. Uh, you know, they have a great tradition. They're always going to play hard. They're always going to be well prepared. So we know it's going to be a tough challenge, but hopefully one that we can make the improvements necessary to be able to meet that challenge. In Ada, I'm Matt Finkel for the Sports Report.